riding along on my bike, trying my gloves on my handlebars, come across this big ass Maunga Cliff Putty. And down there we have Dao Whanganui in its juvenile stage, but soon to become the mighty Whanganui that we see out by the coast. If you look up at the cliffs here, uh, this is part of Hine Tupari Maunga's uh, Whakapapa e moi mai a Hine Tupari Maunga ki uh, tāne e puta mai a tua matua mai a tua matua ka puta mai uh, rako hore rangahua makatiti makatata at the surface we're riding on here down by my feet whoa something just happened there we go, we're back again. <laughs> it's Hinea Tua Kiri Kiri. And she's the goddess of gravel that you can see rushing by. And why this is interesting is that when we look down at Hinea Tua Kiri Kiri, she has a different sound as she's moving underneath the wheels of my bike, letting me know whether it's wet, whether it's dry. All the different types of surfaces tell me who it is that I'm interacting with for the day through the mountain bike wheel. Now, why this is interesting from a physical activity perspective, if we want to talk about the surfaces we're interacting with, the whenua, then we need to know who it is, not what it is. And to get people to become more active, I can ask them to go and ride six different surfaces from Kewai or Kirewai clay through to Hinea Tua Kiri Kiri through to Paru Paru that you see or dirt with Papa Tuanuku either through your shoes or underneath the bike wheel Kia ora.